Hello YouTube world, this is Mac Daddy 1911A1 with the Shea Tree Survivalist coming to you from Northwest Georgia. Um, you had a viewer ask me what I carry in my truck uh, for survival out on the road. Um, as many of you may know, I am an over the road truck driver. I own my own tractor and trailer and haul freight in most of the 48 continental states except for communist land, California. Do not go there. Um, will not go there but this is what I carry in the little backpack right there and uh, also in the uh, BDU camouflage jacket and uh, this is in the truck every day okay um, some of the stuff in here the cops wouldn't like me having in the truck but uh, I didn't give up my constitutional rights just because of my job <clears throat> for instance right there's mr 1911 a1 and two spare magazines uh when i go into a military base or whatever and they ask me if i have a firearm or an iphone i always tell them yes they give me uh they'll take it and keep it for safe for their safety and for mine and uh they give me a little ticket when i come back out i'll t hand a ticket in they'll hand me my gun back um haven't had anybody freak out too much over it except for dover air force base and they were still really really cool you know, run a background check and all that, and they didn't haul me off to the Hooskow. I'm still uh, making videos and uh, at home, so uh, thank God for that. <laughs> um, we'll start with the jacket. Um, now this is still early stages. I've only got recently remotivated because of uh, nothing fancy's USK videos that I absolutely love. Um, I'll have it in the um, annotations, and I'll also have it in the description below. If you don't understand uh, what I said, nut, nut in fancy. Um, a lot of guys knock him, but uh, he is, has well thought out program and uh, very well produced, professionally produced videos. Uh, so I'm learning as I go. Okay, first things first, we have a small wilderness survival, uh, excuse me, first aid kit, a pack two that I've had for years. Um... Thank God I've never had the uh, the use for it, any use for it. Um, I've replaced the uh, medications like the aspirin and pain reliever and stuff like that as time has went by. But the uh, all the uh, bandages and all are still the original ones and the original packaging are undamaged in that hard case there. Then a couple of straps that I carry here and here. Waterproof uh, matchbox with a striker on the bottom like that a whole lot a little bit of uh, electrical tape which i actually need to get a new roll because uh, i've robbed it a few times out on the road um eye drops uh for me i consider that a must when i'm out in uh, like arizona and new mexico where it's really really dry it really bothers my eyes one emergency whistle a set of uh, military grade uh, hearing protection um these dang gum things hurt my ears a little bit. I think I need to find a different size, but they work. Uh, the magnesium block for fire striking, for uh, lighting a fire, a uh, little lensatic compass, a pencil for leaving notes and such. I always, I mean, in my truck, I've got tons of pencils and ink pens, so that's no big deal. Uh, military issue uh, camouflage stick, paint, uh, face paint. This here is a. Um, magnifying glass that I was really hoping it would work uh, for starting fires uh, it's very hard to do but out in the desert I don't think it would be uh, too bad um, a little lens cloth uh, I used to have my binoculars in this rig and right now I don't but I'm gonna buy another pair um, the little yellow tube here is a snake bite kit anti-venom i mean it pulls the vent it's supposed to pull the venom out i think it's just to make you feel better <laughs> but i've had it for years and it'll suck the hide off of you to put a hickey on you in a heartbeat if you do it right um and then uh just a plastic bag full of toilet paper and i've had that toilet paper for years in that same plastic bag and i've been saturated and soaking wet and it works fine and thank god i haven't had to use it too much that's something else truck drivers keep in their truck uh roll of toilet paper and uh, at least one or two rolls of paper towels just for such as that this i keep on my belt 
and uh being kimmo's asleep right now i didn't bring all my stuff off my belt out here but i had this one handy so i brought it this is my leatherman wave uh multi-tool cost me about 70 bucks at lowe's worth every penny i've had it for a month or so now or two months now and i would not uh trade it for anything it's got very sharp blades very sharp scissors uh i've used the screwdrivers a ton of times it's just absolutely a, little, a great little tool highly recommended by me uh in my truck i use it every day at home i use it every day i've just i've uh, adjusted my sights on my bb guns and on my rifle and my shotgun with it i love it um now to the contents of the pack and i do not really have these laid out in any order but i think the first thing you need is a high quality good knife now this doesn't look all that great but this is an ontario marine combat knife i've had this thing since uh I think I said in one of my videos I've had it since 88, but I actually think I got this one either 89 or 90, and I've had it all these years, and I have abused the P-whacking out of it, and it's still going. I mean, uh, you can see the uh, the hand guard here is a little bent. <laughs> I've thrown it at everything under the sun. <clears throat> you could use it. You could mount it to a, a pole or a stick and use it as a spear. You can chop with it. You can slice and dice with it. I love this knife. I mean, that's all there is to it. And on my combat rig, I have a K-Bar Marine combat knife that I absolutely love. Next, portable water in a canteen, US one quart canteen. Uh, I do not have a canteen cup at this time with this rig, but I'm gonna uh, take care of that very soon. I have some Zippo lighter fluid. I have a small little D-ring. Um, next to it, this here is, um, just some little uh, bits from my screwdriver set I've got. Some baling wire and old boot string. Now that comes in more, I mean, very handy. Um, this little Smith & Wesson knife here, someone gave it to me as a gift because I'm a John Deere fan year, several years ago. And it's just sitting in the packaging. It was a limited edition and I was like, you know what? I don't, I'm not a collector like that. I collect stuff that are that is practical, so it is out here it is a practical knife, and it is a backup knife to my main knife or main knives, and in my opinion, it is not a bad thing to have more than one blade, especially you know several of them, in case you break one or whatever. Um, zip ties absolutely invaluable. You you I can't live without a zip tie. That's as simple as that. So I've got a ton of those in here. Um, Next would be the uh, little saws I bought on the road and at truck stops. There, this in here is pretty much, I'm not gonna say it's junk. It's got a carbide blade. Instead of having uh, teeth, it's got the little carbon or carbide or whatever it is uh, glued to it. And I actually saw, sawed through one of the uh, metal fence posts that you drive down in the ground for, you know, stringing barbed wire, or I mean, not barbed wire, but you know, like a fence. Let me get over here. There did those fence posts lie at. I saw right down the middle of one of them, but it would take a million years to cut through it. But it's very tough. You don't have to resharpen it. So I thought, screw it, I'll leave it in the pack. The other one is a cheap saw. And if you'll go back and look at my early camouflaging videos that we did on uh, camo, was camouflaging her boots. And all. we also did a review on this saw here and on her uh, Sierra saw. And her Sierra saw beat this thing hands down. I mean, it was pathetic. I've got one of those in my main pack, and it's going to stay there. And that's as simple as it gets. And uh, one of these days, I'll get another Sierra saw to put in here and, and take that thing there and chunk it because uh, you wear yourself out. Next thing is a little nail puller slash pry bar. Very tough. Had it for years. My dad, it was my dad's. And uh, what I figured is, you know, uh, not opening a door or something like that, I, uh, it may come in handy. Then the very expensive pair of dikes right there, the wire cutters, uh, made in Germany. Um, very, very expensive, but man, those dudes will cut. The next is a little pry bar slash hammer. It's a piece of crap, but it's what I got for now, so I'm gonna keep it. Uh, the Crescent Ranch is no telling what you could use that for. I mean, it's just something that it's, it needs to be there in the pack because uh, you never can tell what you might run into. 
Uh, then we've built a little board with some paracord on it, which I need more of it. I'm uh, running low. I've, I've swapped it sometime. I had to have it uh, when I broke too many bungee cords or whatever to tie down a, a tarp. Um, so I need a little bit more of it, but I've got 200 brand new bungee cords. I can bungee it to death. Uh, then we have a little emergency blanket that I got out of a first aid kit. I have a couple of those in my main pack also, the little Mylar uh, emergency blanket my snap cap so I can practice trigger control safely. Um, the Coleman fire sticks, fire starting sticks, strike a fire, fire starters is what they're called. I highly recommend them. They're inexpensive and man, them dudes work. End of story. And to maintain the blades on my knives, I have a Smith's uh, knife sharpening set. It's not the greatest thing ever, but uh, it does a really good job if you uh, take your time with it. Um, next to that is a very heavy duty set of work gloves on the bottom, camouflage cloth gloves in between, another a cheap pair of uh, leather gloves, and then a pair of waterproof uh, work gloves that my brother got one of the, from one of his union jobs. Um, on back over this way, we've got a camouflage compact. Um, that is great it's got a little mirror and all that so uh, you need absolutely need that i've got my Schrade old timer knife that i've had for about 10 or 15 years well 10 or 12 years now and it is absolutely outstanding uh, i've used it for a hammer and everything else and it just keeps on ticking the next item was directly from uh nothing fancy's uh usk videos go check them out they're awesome and it's a little cheap hacksaw Okay, but it works. I've used it for PVC. I've used it for metal. You can see the blade. Got I've got several spare blades in the uh, truck for it. Um, actually, mean to put meant to put one in here. I haven't done it so far, but I will get to it. Um, over there is a little cheap NRA multi tool that the NRA sent me. Um, had it for several years. It's a piece of junk, really, honestly. But uh, until I got, get a better one to replace it so I have a redundant system to back up my Leatherman Wave that I love so much, uh, it'll stay in the story. Uh, love to have redundant systems. That's the reason you'll never see super single tires on my drivers or on my trailer. All right, next item, an honest to God real MRE. Um, I like these things. This is a beef stew. Um, because my pack is so small, I don't have any more room. But I figured that and that would keep me going. The little cheap Walmart uh, mountain house uh, camping meals. I mean, those two should keep me going until I can gather up some food, especially the MRE. It's got tons and tons of calories. Uh, next on the list is a uh, Craftsman razor knife with five spare blades and a uh, little, I think it's a P38 or P39, whatever, uh, can opener military issue can opener works really really well and uh some spared alkaline batteries that came with something uh probably the remote control on my um, uh little dvd player and last but not least is my tarp now it's heavier than a than a lot of the small tents but you can put it up in just a minute all you need is four pieces of string or two two pieces of string or a bungee cord or something a pole and a couple of stakes and bam you've got an instant lean to okay and if all else fails you can just wrap it around yourself uh, under yourself and around yourself to keep the weather off at bay you know um, in a real quick emergency um, you can cover your backpack and you as you're walking if it's you know raining or snowing or whatever and it does really good and um, when I said last but not least, I must have been smoking some crack because we are not done by any means. Uh, over here we have a little bottle that says, uh, I don't even know what the heck I had wrote on there. But anyway, that's pain medication. It's some Excedrin, some Tylenol, I think some aspirin, some cotton balls or something in there. Or uh, not cotton balls, but a little toilet paper to keep from banging around. Uh, in the background, in the former vitamin bottle, that's where I keep my cotton balls that I have saturated in the vaseline which i call my fireballs and that sounds funny but it works really really well and behind it is some coffee singles i love my coffee okay 
and so I'm gonna have it regardless <laughs> okay onward and upward as I'm always saying we've got a medical kit here that I've just thrown together for now um, I've got even while you know when I was putting it together I, I put in bandages and different stuff like that I've uh, got uh, cotton I mean uh, excuse me alcohol swabs and stuff like that in there uh, um, I'm not gonna dig all that out this one here I had some pain reliever I put it in the night bottle so in this one here I've got another small first aid kit and some different items in this one here I've got a sewing kit an eyeglass repair kit some tape um, it seems like yes I got my little forks in there I have uh, sugar I have salt I have pepper I have um, creamer I have uh, hand wipes to wipe your hands off to sanitize your hands um, tons of stuff in here I don't even remember all the stuff I've got in here um, another brand new roll of black electrical tape because electrical tape if you can't duck it then electrical tape it and it'll, it'll work right on okay and this one here I've got a an emergency whistle I have a Zippo lighter with brand new flint, brand new cotton, uh, the whole nine yards, an extra flint, an extra uh, um, wick. I have waterproof matches, I have some lint, I have more waterproof matches, some standard matches, and I have some of those fire strike of fire sticks from another pack in here sealed up tight in a uh, Ziploc. This emergency whistle has a compass, okay? It has a it is um, a waterproof container for matches. It has a little signal mirror in the, this end of it, and of course it's a whistle. Okay, then I have my water purification tablets. Okay, you can watch my making a homemade water filter. Okay, a survival water, water filter, and you still need to chemically treat it when you filter your water. So one uh, neutralizes the bad taste and the color and the other one is the actual uh, purification tablets, okay? Only for emergency use. They, they tell you not to use this very, very much if you can get away with it. Emergency poncho, okay, a little cheap emergency poncho. You can buy these at Wally World, at any, hell, I see them at the truck stops all the time. Another emergency whistle, okay? Um, in case I got a group of people running with me, they need, you know, we need to keep in communication. A dust mask. I got that because of 9-11. If I got to leave the truck in a mess like that, I want to be able to get to my dust mask. Okay, and you can see all my goodies down in there. So, and then finally, the SolarLink FR 360 emergency radio. It has a flashlight. It has uh, <coughs> radio, weather free, all the weather, the uh, weather frequencies. It is dyno powered, solar powered, battery powered, AC or DC powered, but you've got to buy the freaking cord separately. I have rechargeable batteries in it, uh, as well as the batteries that, uh, the little battery pack that comes with it hooked up, and you can charge it up by turning the little dyno handle on it. Um, I highly recommend getting an emergency radio and man hauling that thing around. It's not, it's not that heavy. This pet, this, 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 the entire contents of this and weigh about a third of what uh, my big pack weighs. So it's not really that much weight. Okay. And this is the absolute minimum of stuff that I would want to carry. Um, if it wasn't for the fact I was in a truck, I'd have, a, have either A, my rifle or my shotgun with me, preferably my rifle because it's a hell of a lot easier to haul the ammunition around even though it's, it's very heavy. Um, but this is what I carry every day. This this backpack and jacket comes out of the truck on the weekends when I'm at home or whenever, and it goes back in the truck when I go back to work. And if they had a load today, I wouldn't even be making this this freaking video. But unfortunately, all they've got is stuff I don't want. So I hope uh, you enjoyed this video. It's a little bit better than the one I tried to make last night, which I'm about to go take off and load this one up. Um, hope it helps somebody somewhere this uh, um, one more thing 
this will probably be at my trial one of these days. You know, it's, it'll be in some communist state where they don't believe that uh, the Second Amendment applies to every individual citizen. And this, there are a lot of states you can get in a lot of trouble for carrying a firearm in the vehicle. However, in the state of Georgia, in your business, your home, or your automobile, you do not have to have a concealed carry permit. As long as you've got the legal right to own a handgun, you can carry it in your vehicle or at your place of business. And my place of business is my tractor trailer because it is mine. I own it. Okay. No, you know, nobody tells me what to do, come and go, how, you know, whatever, because it is my tractor trailer. Okay. So the way I figure it, it is my legal right as an American citizen, I'm going to carry the damn thing. I don't intend on using it to hurt anyone unless they try to hurt me and in that case they're gonna have a bad bad day this is mac daddy 1911a1 with the shade tree survivalist and i uh, hope you enjoyed the video and if you didn't sorry uh anywho signing off